So, Dr. Singh, I'd like to start with a, a fairly open and big question. Um, look at India itself. We can drill down into the detail as, as we discuss it. But India, when we take a look at India, it is the most populous country on earth. It's a huge population, 1.4 billion people. It's a huge market in, of great interest to most of the nations on earth. It's fast becoming a commercial powerhouse. It's even successfully landed a probe on the moon. All well and good. It's on paper, the next generation superpower. But something is going wrong with India. What is going wrong with India? Uh, I guess, uh, let me start with this, that uh, when the Westerns look towards India, for them, two points come to their mind. India, the largest democracy and land of Gandhi. Second is land of mysticism, that is yoga. For them, everybody in India is doing yoga and everybody is believing in the non-violence. But contrary to that, what India is, we can see and as the discussion will progress, we'll see that how in the name of democracy, India is actually a combination of 1930s Nazi Germany and fascist Italy. It's a combination of the two. Though in 1947, when subcontinent was partitioned between India and Pakistan, uh, the minorities, including Sikhs, Muslims, Christians, and Dalits who stayed in the India on the promises that India will be a secular country, India will give opportunity, equal opportunity, opportunity to all citizens, there won't be any state religion as Pakistan itself was being created on the basis of religion, two-nation theory. But contrary to that, we see today after almost 75 plus years that India has become like a state which has not even given basic rights to its minorities. Today when we are looking at that how even uh, the civic society or civil society is being suppressed, how the voice of dissent is being crushed. Even yesterday when we saw the news that uh, Natasha Call, a professor in UK who, was a, uh, who is a scholar on the South Asian affairs, uh, she was detained for almost 72 hours in Karnataka and then sent back. We are seeing in the last two, three years licenses of over 17,000 NGOs which were working there to help the poor in the health sector, in the education sector and even providing food to the poor, their licenses has been cancelled. Similarly, we are seeing that even today, not only media but even judiciary is complicit in it and that brings us to a point that as in the 1930s when uh, the people here in the United States were approaching their president, Roosevelt, telling that what is happening to the Jews there, what is happening to the civil libertarians, what is happening to the communists or others. And they were saying, oh, Germany is progressing, trains are running on time, the markets are full of people, this is a mere propaganda. But after the Second World War, when the atrocities and horrors we came to know, then the thing was said, oh, never again, never again. But today, the same is happening in a country which has a population of 1 billion 400 million people, which country is moving towards not only fascism and Nazism, but look at even race-based caste system, which is the their uh, Manu Sahita, which is their Hindu code that is being brought back and that must be very clear in the recent weeks when the Ayodhya Mandar was Pran Pratishta was done by Modi and just two days ago he was doing the same in Dwarka, Gujarat. So I think the India which is uh, dreamt of or which is being propagated by one of the Indians media arms is totally different than what is being projected actually today's India is what was the Nazi Germany and Mussolini's Italy in the 1930s.